Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Repitch plugin in Reaper. Now, Repitch is another plugin that comes free with Reaper. And it's basically used to alternate the pitch of our audio, or it's also known as a harmonizer. And it can be used on any instrument. In this video, we're going to focus on vocals. So, the vocal track here, let's see what it sounds like. Let's put that plugin on there. On the track effects right here, we'll go to the Reaper ones and go over here to Repitch, which opens up this plugin. Now, by default, it's fully wet. So, any adjustment we make is gonna be on the full signal. We're not hearing any dry right now. So, if we play it now, it sounds exactly the same because nothing's changed over here. They're all set to zero. So let's go through these. The first adjustment is to shift the pitch with full range. I'm not gonna worry about that one. If you wanna fine tune it, you could do it here, but it's more useful to go down here. So you can shift it by semitones. So if we shift it up by one semitone, it sounds like this. Or if we go down by semitone, it sounds like this. So let's make it useful. Let's shift it up by four semitones, which is a major third higher. But let's mix back in the dry sound so we can hear the original vocal with the upper third. So we created a harmony. If you want to add an upper fifth, we go down here to add a shifter, which is going to add another pitch shifter. So we can have multiple ones that play at the same time. In fact, you could have as many as you want just by adding them here. But we'll get back to that in a bit. Let's start with just two, with the first one on plus four, and the second one we'll put to plus seven which is an upper fifth. So now we should have a three-part harmony. And to make it more interesting, let's take the first shifter and pan it to the left, and the second one will pan to the right. And the direct sound is still in the middle, or where it's originally panned. Pretty cool. Now, besides doing semitones, we could do octaves. So let's delete this shifter, go back to the first one, and let's put this back to zero and shift it up an octave right here. And let's pan it back in the middle. Or we can go down an octave right here. And we could always blend each shifter right here. To get the perfect mix of each shifter with the original sound. Now, if you notice, these octaves sound a bit weird. If we turn off the dry, bring this back up. It sounds very shifted. If you don't like that effect, we could adjust it with the formant. We could adjust sense or semitones. Let's go to semitones and bring this up plus 12. It's still down an octave, but it doesn't sound as weird because by adjusting the formant, it makes up for the pitch shifting. And we can do the same thing if we bring it up. Let's go up an octave, 
Let's bring the four-man shift down an octave to minus 12. It doesn't sound as chipmunky as this. That sounds a bit weird. So if we blend this in with the original, It's a bit more useful. If we go down an octave, we would bring this up an octave. And it's definitely more musical. Now we don't have to do big changes to use this plugin. It can be used very subtly. In fact, a harmonizer effect used subtly is one of the most common effects used by mixers. So let's put these all back and let's shift it with cents, which is very fine tuning. Let's bring it up by 10 cents, which creates this effect. And let's pan it to the left. Let's create another one, pan that one to the right and shift that one up 20 cents. So to the left, is 10 cents, and to the right is 20 cents. So that should create a very stereo effect. Pretty interesting. And it really fattens up the direct sound. Before, and after. Now let's tie it all together and have them all play at the same time. Let's start with this, keeping it very subtle. Let's add another one, pan it to the left, and bring it up four semitones which again is an upper major third. Oh. Let's adjust the formant shift to make up for that. So bring it down, minus four. Oh. Let's create another one, a plus seven, which is an upper fifth, and do the same thing over here, go to minus seven, Let's pan this to the right. Oh. Now let's create another one. That's an octave down, but we'll bring the formant plus 12 or up an octave, and we'll pan that in the middle. Oh. And then finally, we'll do an upper octave. Bring this up one octave, and this down an octave. Keep it in the middle, and let's blend it. And at any time, we could solo each one of these shifters so we can readjust it. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and finally six. And turn this off so we can hear them all at the same time. It's a pretty cool effect. And if you want to change the pitch shift algorithm, we can do it down here. To sound touch. Or to this one. Or 
any of the parameters within it. So that's pretty much it. That's the repitch plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!